Closer to home tonight, an Oklahoma representative has called for immediate impeachment of State Superintendent Ryan Walters following a third bomb threat at a Tulsa Elementary School this week. It comes the same day Walters laid out a warning for Tulsa Public Schools. News Force Tanner DeLeon has a recap of the busy day. Tanner. Well, not even a year into his tenure, State Representative Mickey Dolan says Walters has created an unsafe space for teachers and students after a third bomb threat was made this week at Ellen Ochoa Elementary over, quote, woke ideologies. Since day one, Ryan Walters has used his office to weaponize his position and vilify teachers and school unions and and parents and now teachers and librarians and he needs to be taken out of office. Dolan's calling for action while expressing his concerns with where Oklahoma education is heading with State Superintendent Ryan Walters at the helm. Now we are seeing the real real dangerous side effects of his inflammatory rhetoric and his propaganda and his continuous campaign. The threats come as Walters continues to push against what he calls quote woke indoctrination in classrooms. No one has felt that push stronger than Tulsa Public Schools. Today, Walters ended months of speculation over Tulsa's accreditation, allowing the district to keep its status for now. I would advise Tulsa Public Schools, their leadership, do not test me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes for these kids. Not one Tulsa representative denied the district has issues, but each one echoed they are working on improvements. There are positive things on the horizon, the fresh winds of change. The first change Walters has been longing for, the district superintendent to resign, which she did on Tuesday. The board has now moved on to what the district can do next. Requirements include a plan to train teachers in reading, a plan for all schools with an F on their state report card, and new internal controls that would protect the district from embezzlement. With that, the board unanimously approved Tulsa's accreditation status with deficiency but time is ticking. There will be a real consequences within a few months if these measures aren't made. However, some say there is no way they can meet those requirements in just a few months. While Dolan says however long Walters remains in his seat, threats will continue to be made. I know that the people of Oklahoma are tired of hearing the tweets, they're tired of having to hear thoughts and prayers after a tragedy actually happens. Let's mitigate that. Let's do what we can right now to prevent that from even being part of the conversation. And that starts with stepping up and getting Ryan Walters out of office. The board also unanimously passed the requirement for two reports. One requires districts to disclose to the board student pronouns and the district's policies on pronouns. The other requires districts to report any and all foreign gov government funding.